It's no secret that a lot of high-end PC games take very, very expensive and very specific hardware to run well. You may also find yourself being left behind in the modern age of PC gaming due to your computer being a little bit old and outdated. Well, today, I'm going to do my best to help you guys out. What's up, guys? Jimmy here. Welcome to Chaos Top Tens, and today, we're going to be taking a look at and counting down 10 ways where you can make PC games run better, faster, and smoother on your computer this is for you guys who have been you you have trouble getting newer games to run on your older pc setup or maybe you're just new to pc gaming in general and hopefully this helps you guys out we are running a 200 dollars amazon gift card giveaway the entire month all you have to do to enter is like this video be subscribed turn on your notifications and leave a comment why you want to win it with your twitter handle attached i will announce the winner at the end of the month on twitter Good luck on the giveaway, guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button really, really quick and turn on your notifications. Just check that little bell so you guys never miss an upload when it goes up. And now, let's go over some ways to make PC games run better on your setup. Kicking off the list, this is a no-brainer, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Lowering the FPS, the frames per second, okay? Us gamers love running things at 60 FPS and even higher if we're able to, and that's one of the main draws of PC gaming. Actually, you can run games at much higher frame rates than what's possible on console, but if your computer isn't running that 150 FPS game very well, you may have to sacrifice and drop things down a bit. Go into your game settings. Find the FPS cap, try lowering the frame rate and playing the game, switching between the gameplay and settings to finally find that nice balance. If lowering the frame rate doesn't do anything at all, you may have some more complicated issues at hand, but this is a very good starting point to get your game to run smoother. You may have to sacrifice a little bit, but hey, in the end, you want to play the game. At number nine, lowering the visual quality. PC games have a lot more gameplay settings than console games do, leading to much more detailed visuals. But because PC games are designed to be more complicated, this can often lead to people forgetting that things like textures, resolution, and shadows can actually be adjusted. If you have a powerful computer, you should have no problem running all your settings at high while still maintaining a consistent frame rate. But if you're experiencing choppy gameplay or low frame rates, you might want to go into your settings and lower the quality of the game's visuals. Most games will have a handful of settings like low, normal, high, very high extreme, stuff like that. It's not that hard to find. Try lowering your settings one by one to see if it makes a difference in the overall gameplay. If your computer isn't working so hard just to load the game, the gameplay itself will improve. And hey, if you have to sacrifice being able to see the detail moss on a rock in a creek or something, well, sometimes you just got to make that sacrifice. At number eight, we have another, well, duh, but we're going to go over it anyway. Updating your drivers, okay? Many people don't play regular enough to even think about this, but if you fail to keep your drivers for your graphics card up to date, newer games will no doubt look like crap because they're constantly improving. Low frame rates, bad resolution, screen tearing, pretty much Everything you don't want in a video game will happen if you try to run high-tech games with outdated drivers, and drivers are always going out of date. And regardless of how good your actual graphics card may be, if you don't keep them updated, you're not going to get the full potential of it. Keep your drivers up to date. If you have Windows 10, you, you can simply type update device drivers in your bottom left search bar, and you should be taken straight to your settings where you can do as you please. At number seven, run in windowed mode. Another common thing that people new to PC games tend to miss is the ability to switch between full screen mode and windowed mode. And the fact that running the game in these two modes actually makes a massive difference. If you have a powerful PC, running a game in full screen or window doesn't really change anything. But if your hardware is a little outdated or your computer is a little older, you probably notice windowed running slower than it went in full screen. Running the game in windowed forces your computer to continuously render your computer's background and desktop while running your game. If you run the game in full screen, however, this will often lead to an increase in game performance since you aren't forcing your computer to actually do two tasks at once. Go into your game settings and make sure that you're running the game at full screen and not windowed or borderless windowed. It, you may be able to see a difference. Maybe, maybe this will help out a little if you have an older setup. At number six, using the right resolution. 
If you're going to be playing PC games, you absolutely have to know what the resolution of your computer is. Is it 1280 by 720? Is it 1366 by 768? Or is it 1920 by 1080? These are things that you need to know as running a game at a resolution that doesn't correspond to your computer will often lead to bad performance. If you type screen resolution into the search bar on the bottom left of your Windows computer, it should tell you what you're actually running. You can then use this info to change the settings accordingly in all your games to create a smoother gameplay experience. A lot of games will be able to read what your native resolution is, but it's it's just it's a good thing. It's a it's a good thing for yourself in case the game doesn't have that feature to know what, what your computer's resolution is running at. Cracking into the top five today, verify integrity. All right, if you're running games on Steam, chances are you know about this beautiful feature, okay? Because games are updated so frequently in the modern age of gaming, this can often lead to some players being left behind after failing to update and then hindering the performance of the game. If your Steam game starts running like crap out of nowhere, you don't have to delete and reinstall necessarily. Go to your Steam library, right click on the game that's not working correctly, and then go down to properties. Then go to local files tab and click on verify integrity of game files. This will search the Steam servers for any updates or files of that game that your version of the game may not have. And then guess what? It will automatically install them for you. It is a very, very nice feature from Valve to help make sure that everybody's on the same page. It's kind of like a Windows update for your PC, but in the form of gaming on Steam. It's a very good thing. At number four, turning on an FPS counter. Steam comes equipped with an FPS counter that you can place on your screen anytime you want to. And if you're playing a game that doesn't have the feature, you could still download a third party app to do it for you. It is definitely recommended that you turn on an FPS counter so you can see how well visually your game is performing at any given time. This will also help you see exactly what situations will hinder your game's performance. Maybe it's a certain spot in a level or certain loading for a screen. Who knows? It, I mean, it could be fight sequences or areas with a lot of action, settings with a lot of fire. It could be a lot of things, okay? Having an FPS counter will help you pinpoint exactly where the area of slowdown is happening, and it's a good start to adjusting your settings to get things running more consistently. And you can use any of the stuff we've talked about above to adjust those settings. At number three, anti-aliasing. This is a feature that a lot of people forget about, but it's actually a de it can have a decent impact on the overall performance of a game. Anti-aliasing is the system that smooths out jagged lines in a game's visuals, making things look less blocky and actually more realistic. When going into the graphics settings of a game and looking at the anti-aliasing settings, you're likely either see a slider or a series of numbers with X after them, 2X, 4X, etc. And if your game is running poorly, Try turning this completely off and see if it makes a difference. If it does, then start slowly turning it back up to find that proper number where things are balanced, smooth, and your gameplay is running good. At number two, finding optimization software. If all else fails, everything else we've talked about doesn't do it, your computer's just that old, you may need to get a third-party app involved with getting your computer up and running as intended. Because modern computers are so complicated, it can be tough to see exactly where your PC is using all of its resources and whether or not it is energy efficient. Defragging your hard drive can also help with the process. You guys do a little research on what software is best for your particular situation, and Windows does have some applications built into it with these scenarios, but they can only do so much. If nothing seems to work, you guys may need to do a little digging. And I will say, I use CC Cleaner for a lot of my stuff on my comp. It's free to use, so I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And if all else fails again, here's the number one thing. Get new hardware. There may come a point where you just have to drop a few bucks, guys. Probably the one thing nobody likes to do, but it's going to be necessary eventually. If your computer is old, out of date, just can't keep up, it's time to upgrade, guys. You don't have to get a whole new rig. If you are savvy enough to pinpoint the exact problem with the performance of your games, you should be able to figure out what specific piece of hardware needs to be replaced. Perhaps you just need some more RAM, or maybe you need a new graphics card, but you should be able to accept the fact that eventually your computer will be out of date and you should probably start looking online for a new one. I hope it's not the case for you, but it, it happens because computers are expensive. But keep in mind that no PC lasts forever.
And there you go, guys. That is 10 tips to help you make PC games run better. If it was informative, drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed it. If you want more top 10s like this, let me know. There's a playlist below with all the other gaming top 10s that go up every single day. And as you're leaving today, hit that subscribe button and that like button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video.